Hi again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add custom attributes to various Spacey objects. You can add custom attributes to doc, span and token objects in Spacey. Just to give you an example, if you're loading texts from separate files into doc objects, then it's maybe a good idea to add a custom attribute to the doc object that points towards the source file. Or if you're working with transcriptions of spoken interaction, you could use the attributes to add information about the speaker to the spacey span objects. All of these custom attributes can be added using the set extension method. And what I'm going to show you next is how to add custom attributes to the doc object. And to get started, we need to import the doc object class from the tokens submodule of Spacey. It's important to understand that now we have access to the class of doc objects, not some individual doc object, which results from feeding some text to a Spacey language model. So what we're going to do next is we're going to register these custom attributes using the set extension method. So if you take a look at this cell right here, we're taking the doc object class and using the set extension method to register two custom attributes, age and location. And in both cases, we provide the default argument with the value none. So by default, these attributes are set to none. Python classes don't refer to any specific object. So that's why we don't have to assign these changes to the object again but we can simply register these extensions without doing any assignment to variable here. So let's move forward and define a toy example. So in this case, we have a dictionary with three keys, zero, one, and two. And under each key, we have another dictionary with three keys and some values. And I'm just gonna assign this dictionary into the variable sense dict. So what we're going to do next is we're going to loop over this dictionary. We set up a placeholder list to hold the process text. So when we get the spacey doc objects, we're going to put them in this list right here. And next we're going to loop over the dictionary using the items method, which will give us both the key and the value which we assign to variables key and data. So the variable data right here refers to the dictionary that contains the actual content that we want to process and store. So then we fetch the actual text to be processed, which is stored under the key text and feed it to the language model under NLP and store the result under the variable doc. This gives us a spacey doc object and then we move on to assign the custom attributes age and location that we registered previously. So what we do here is we fetch the values under the keys age and location and assign them to the custom variables age and location in the spacey doc object. The underscore preceding the custom attributes is a kind of a fake attribute used by spacey to separate the custom attributes from those that are native to the Spacey library. So if you assign any custom attributes, you can always find them under the attribute underscore. Finally, we append the individual doc object to the list of doc object under the variable docs. So when I run this cell, then we will have a list of Spacey doc object with some custom attributes. And to examine these attributes, we can loop over the doc objects in the list docs and print out the custom attributes. And as you can see, we have the doc itself, the text, and then we have the custom attribute age and the custom attribute location. We can use these attributes to filter the data for further processing. So we could take, for example, only texts that have been written by people who are under the age of 40. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions then just leave a comment below.